OCs. I got lots of them. Now, I'm sure most of you clicked on this video because you have an interest in OCs. I'm assuming that because of the all cap OCS in the title. OCs, short for original characters. You may have some. I have 10. I love my little babies, watching them grow and change. My oldest is something like four years old. Yet, I sometimes find myself yearning to meet my OCs face to face. I'm sure some of you have too. Unfortunately, I do not have something magical to make them appear out of nowhere, but I do have the next best thing, art. With digital art, I'm able to create some sort of illusion they are real in real life. A while back, I went on vacation with my family to the beach. I imagined what it would have been like with my OCs there. I made a couple comics about it on my website. Go check it out. I also took some pictures to draw my OCs into. But <laughs> real life is quite real. Meaning if something I drew was wonky, it would throw the whole thing off. So I'll have to do really well for each picture. No pressure, right? But because I want to do multiple pictures, I'll go easy on myself and do a simple style. I'm aiming for five pictures to be done. The first is some of my OCs looking out at the sea. I decided to include Frost, Grumps, West, Errand, and Frostbite. Frost is my four-year-old OC I was talking about. My newest is two months and a half old. Because our vacation was something like nine months ago, he will not be in the pictures, sadly. Frost is to the right of the picture. Grumps is snuggling into his hair. West is in the middle, and Erend is on the left. I put Frostbite in the corner with her back facing us. That perspective was really hard though. It kept looking weird to me. Although I did use reference pictures to help, in the end, I decided to take her out. As you can see, I kept to my illustrative style, but it's still really intimidating to do this, especially because I haven't done this before. So I decided to follow the process I used to draw Una, my D&D character. It's still illustrative, but has lighting and shading that looks 3D. The process is starting with a sketch, of course, then adding line art. After that, I'd block in base colors, then using those colors, I'd color in the line art. I would then add some details, like blush and some nice texture. Finally, I'd get to the lighting. I use this opportunity to add shapes where the line art doesn't usually go. And here's the end product! I certainly enjoyed doing this. I'm so happy with how it turned out. But... Hmm... This... Doesn't exactly look like this. I mean, this looks so lively, but this, although still good, it doesn't have the same oomph, if you know what I mean. It's alright, I'll just try again in the next picture. Besides, now I know I need to make them fit in better. But as I was drawing, I found myself going more realistic. Oh well, I'll roll with it. I'll just cut five pictures to four. I'm including four OCs, Erend, West, Alistair, and Eric. This is the first time Alistair and Eric are on the channel. Frost has been on the channel the most, three times. Four, including this video. My other OCs that have been on is Aaron, V, West, and Nicole. I love doing this challenge, especially because I had to think of how my OCs would act in these situations. It helps them develop. I especially delighted in seeing Alistair and Eric interact back there. That silly big kitty jumping on counters just to annoy Alistair. Finally, after blocking in colors, I got to add digital painting touches, but digital painting is not so easy. It was a struggle to get hair textures right. Since I went more realistic, I couldn't just half heart it. Looking at the time I had left, I suppose I'd have to cut down again, now to three pictures. Other than that, my favorite part in the digital painting was Alistair's sleeves. 
I even took a screenshot of him before doing final touches. He looked so handsome. A proud mama moment. The digital painting came out well, but when I added lighting and finishing touches, my, it was gorgeous. They fit in so well. Even though they still looked unreal, it still worked. After a full day of working on this piece, I closed my computer, satisfied. But I look over to the clock. It's Friday, already upload weekend. During the ending stages of the second picture, I had already started getting really tired. I just wanted to finish. Now I was exhausted. On top of the devoted working, we had to go to church every day of the weekend. It gave me less time. Now, it seemed, time was up. I went to bed that night, dreading the third picture and editing. I didn't blame the weekend church Bible study. It was honestly refreshment from the work. I blamed my overachieving self. I was so excited to do editing. I had fun plans for the video. Now I doubted if I could even finish in time. You know what? I'll just stop there. Two pictures is enough. Two is not five. But I'm tired. I give up. But as I lay there in bed, not being able to sleep, I continued thinking. I always felt discouraged at the ending of a video. Always overachieved. Always felt rushed. After that moment of defeat, now I felt strangely peaceful. I push myself because I want to do well. That's not bad. I used to push myself too much, but I've been learning to be gentle with myself. Go at a slower pace. After praying for strength, satisfied with the guidance I was given, I slept with a decided mind. The next day, I returned to my computer and started with the third picture. I know, why are you still pushing yourself? You said you learned to be gentle. Yes, I did say that. I'm not going against that, but I'll explain more in just a bit. Let's look at this picture for now. In this picture, I'm including all my OCs that were there. I thought it would be nice as a final picture if they were all out on the beach. Since I took this picture far away, it would be easy to draw all of them. Plus, I decided to go back to the simple style. It didn't have to be realistic. This was good enough. West is in the far right, with his hands in the air as he's watching the... Um... I forgot the name, but the throwing thingy. Eric is running and pushing Alistair into the game, forcing him to join. Erend is preparing to catch the... Oh yes! Frisbee! <laughs> Frostbite is preventing Grumps from cheating and flying up to take the frisbee. Frost is just admiring the waves and both V and Nicole are silently walking together beside the tide. I'm really happy and content with how it turned out. How all of them turned out. Even though I still did the third picture, I didn't go against what I said. You see, I wanted to do the third picture. I wanted to enjoy editing. I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to feel discouraged again. Because you know what? Who cares if I don't finish exactly on time? I certainly shouldn't. I want to do well, and this channel is a personal project. I know, sometimes, some deadlines you can't push back, but don't feel discouraged. If you do well, if you're dedicated, it's something you can be proud of. I didn't have to do the third picture. I could have stopped at two and still have been thankful for what I've been blessed with. But in this case, I wanted to show myself that I shouldn't let my personal project's deadlines become my master. Not any deadline for that matter. Remember to enjoy what you do. Don't let anything become master over you. Alright, I'm sure you're getting tired of me now. Let's end the video, shall we? If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If my videos are entertaining and you want more, I'd love for you to join the family through subscribing. Oh, that's not enough? My, my. Well, you are always welcome to visit my website where I upload every four weeks. And if you want to see more gorgeous art, check out Star's channel. She's uploaded her second video recently. Go show her some love. Thank you for watching. I delighted so much in your company. I'll see you again soon.